Greetings, Your Highness. Ah, greetings. Your Highness, your food is served. Okay, thank you. Your Highness, you look worried. Is everything all right? Everything is fine. Okay, if you say so. What type of a dream was that? Does it mean that my husband is getting married to another woman? What if he has gotten married to the person? What is really going on? I am very sure that all is not well. Something is seriously wrong somewhere. I really need to find out what the problem is before it becomes too late. Good afternoon, sir. Yeah, Becky. Sir. Why did you tell Mrs. Caroline that you're not picking up her case? Sir, her case is not one we can win. After going through the case file and um, listening to her, I came to the conclusion that this is not a case the firm needs. It would dent the image of this firm. That is nonsense. You should have at least tried. You should have, you should have tried it. Before rejecting her outwardly, it's not you don't have you didn't do it well. Sir, so like I said, I have gone through this case file. I listened to the lady talk. After hearing her own side of the story and looking at this case from every angle, it's not something this firm needs. We will not win it. Becky. Sir. That woman was willing to pay us a huge sum of amount. You shouldn't have rejected that job. Sir, I am aware of the monetary aspect of this case. But I would rather pick the good image of this company over that money. With all due respect, sir, this case is a no-no. It's a loss. We don't need it. And you know our problem financially? You know we have bills to pay. Sir, I'm aware we have bills to pay, but let me break this down to you. If we take this money because it's huge, and then take up this case and lose, which we are not known for in this firm, it will affect other clients that are supposed to come because they would see us as a firm that is not competent to handle their case because we're going to lose it. Then what is your job? You should upgrade yourself to win cases. Sir, I have never lost any case in this firm. I'm sure you know my record. When I say a case is bad, it's bad, sir. With all due respect, sir, I will not handle that case and I would not suggest anyone in this firm handles it. Becky, sit up. Sit up! I will, sir. Hello, girl. Hello? Uh, yeah. Yes, yes. I'm almost leaving the house, yeah. Okay. If you're here to see Maria, she's not at home. So you can just get out and maybe come back later when she's home. Okay, um, please, do you know when she's coming did back? Did you not just hear me? Or did your own poverty affect your eardrums? I said Maria is not home. Hold on. Am, am I Maria's timekeeper? Am I her timekeeper? Or are you here to award her a new contract? 
I understand. Okay. Hi, Becky. Hey. Hi. Hi. Ah, hey. You're back home early. Hmm. I had to leave there before I do something stupid. Okay. Timothy, what's up? How are you doing? I'm fine. And um, how was work? Work was okay. Ah, babe, since you're back home early, why don't we just um, leave this poverty shrinking guy and go out to have some fun? Choma, I am not in the mood of going out to have some fun. I actually came back home to relax. Okay. Um, Timothy, I called um, Maria on my way coming back from work and she said she's on her I way know, back. I... Can you let me talk to the young man, please? So like I was saying, I called her on my way back and she said she's on her way back too. So I think you should come in and wait for her, okay? All right. No, Thank Maria you. didn't say such thing. No, Ma Ma Maria didn't say that. Unless you're crushing on the young man. Timothy, if you really want to see Maria, come inside. Thank you. So, um, how is business? Hey. Business is fine. <laughs> Maria, where are you? Hey, hey, hey. just stay here. That's a bad idea. Timothy is here. And Becky just took him in to sit down and wait for you. That's what I'm telling you. Just stayed here. Anyway, since you're already outside, hey, just hold on for me. Let me come so we can go and chill at Pinky Bar. You know how we do it now. Hey, yeah, yeah, I'm coming. I'll see you soon. Okay. You can go and enjoy him. This is too little, but I'm sure it will go a long way, yeah? <laughs> yeah? Get your stupid self back here. What did you see? See? Joanne is confused. 
Could you please speak in clearer terms? Clearer terms? Closer. Keep coming. And you're trying to tell me I am not being reasonable. How dare you? I am asking you, what did you see? Sure, I, I did not see anything. I don't even know what you're talking about. Okay. I did not see anything. <laughs> if I get to hear any rumor about me, you will see the beast in me. Did you hear me? Mm -hmm. Closer. I said, come closer. Come closer. Mm -hmm. So you didn't see anything, right? No, I didn't see anything. Your hands down. You didn't see anything. Mm -hmm. I didn't to hear nothing. <laughs> so the monkey was so curious at school. When the monkey returned to the mother, he asked the mother, Mama, why is it that in everything the monkey does, the only one popular is that the monkey knows how to eat banana? <laughs> and after a considerable applause, the mother looked at him and said, Well, the story of monkey will always remain like that until monkey learns how to write. <laughs> greetings, father. Uh, greetings. Where are you going, my child? Father, I've pleaded with you to stop referring to me as a child. I'm a full-grown woman. I'm an adult, the princess of this land. I don't like it when you call me a child. Well, you're my child. And that is one thing you cannot change, no matter how hard you try. I know I am your child, but when you refer to me as a baby, I don't know. But that's by the way. Father, I'm rushing to somewhere and I have an urgent meeting. I'll see you oh, when I eat. That's why I hope you're going with the guards. No, I am going alone. Like I said, I can take care of myself. There's no problem and I'll be all right. You want to go out alone? No, that's no, no. You need your guards. You need protection. You know, here it's not like in UK where you are to move freely. The system here is screwed up, so you need your guards to go with you. Father, I want to go alone. Hey, happy girl, let me tell your father in law, talk to him. I'm a woman, I need some privacy. Let him let Come on, he's doing it for your own good. Don't do that. Love makes us go extra miles sometimes. Big girl. My princess, his majesty is only trying to protect you because he loves you so much. <sighs> Here I am thinking you support me as your fellow woman and I forgot that he's your father-in-law. All in. Why not, father? The guards will be on the wheels. It's an order from your father and your king. They will take you to wherever you are going and bring you back to the palace unless you want to opt out. James! James! You're so different from uh, other of your friends. You're very nice and um, understanding. Ah, uh, Timothy. Thanks for the compliment, though. You're welcome. But you're wrong. Yeah, my friends are actually good people. They are. Just like Maria. She's a wonderful soul, if you get to meet her. She's just been careful. In the past, she has had men come into her life, break her heart into pieces, and um, I'm sure she's just trying to be careful this time around. So you don't come into her life and break her heart again. So you, you have to cut her some slack. I understand. I mean, I do. A broken leg will always give the table an awkward fitted. So exactly. I know. I understand. <laughs> but Becky, the truth is, um, I am different. Come on, I am not trying to 
praise myself here, but I know I am different. I am not like other men. I just want to be her friend. I mean, nothing intimate. Okay, just her friend. Yes, I love her, but I can, I can uh, keep the intimacy for now. And, uh, just be friends. All I need is just to see her beautiful face and always watch her smile. That's all. <laughs> That's so sweet of you. <laughs> And the thing is, Maria hasn't seen this side of you. I know you love her. Yes, I do. You don't need to tell me. I'm a lawyer. I can see you. And I know when one is telling the truth. I just think you should give her some time. Give her time to come around. To bring down that huge wall of defense around her. And then she will get to see the side of you that I'm seeing now. Hmm? Okay, no problem. Trust Fine. me. She's not that stubborn. I mean, it's taking forever for her to come back. Yeah. Are you sure she told you she was coming back? Of course she did. I actually called her on my way coming back. Because I, I wanted to discuss something with her. But she said she was already coming back on her own. So, that was why... Oh, shit. I, I don't know why I didn't think of this earlier. What is it? I am so sure Choma called her to tell her you're here. <sighs> I think that's much. I mean, I guess that, um, that's why it's taking forever for her to come back. Exactly. Uh, Timothy, I, I am sorry. I'm sorry I didn't think of this earlier. I, uh, hence me keeping you here waiting for her. I'm so sorry. Becky, it's not your fault, okay? It's fine. So I should be on my way then. Okay, let me see you. It's all right. Um, please tell her I was here. I will, yeah. definitely. And I'll make sure she tries to see you. It's okay. <laughs> Ever since I had that dream, I've been cracking my brain to get the right interpretation about that dream. But the more I try, the more confused I become. Your Highness, this is not just an ordinary dream. This is more like a revelation. In fact, a serious revelation. Jane, what do you mean by it's a serious revelation? <laughs> God has decided to show you the reason behind the problem in your marriage. The only challenge we have right now is that you were not able to see the face of the stupid home breaker. Had it been you were able to see her face, it would have been a won battle because you would have gone to teach her a lesson. To be very honest with you, Jane. I'm confused. <sighs> what are you trying to say? Your Highness, if my knowledge about dream interpretation is anything to go by, then I will tell you categorically that your husband, Prince Chuku Dozier, is seriously looking for someone to replace you as a wife, if only he has not found one already. Are you sure about what you're telling me? Come on, my friend. And stop asking me if I'm sure about what I just said. All we should be talking about here is to find out who the young lady he wants to marry is and probably stop them from getting married if only they are not married already. Listen, my friend. I am not saying this out of jealousy. I am saying this because I have experience. We've been friends for decades now. And I will always tell you the truth. I want you to know right from this moment that your husband, Prince Chuku Dozier, no longer loves you.
Becky, what was the meaning of what you did earlier today? Like, I don't get it. I don't. I need an explanation. Why would you allow Timothy to enter this house without my consent? <sighs> really? Babes, what is wrong with you, Becky? What is wrong with you? Maria, can you just take it easy? I should take it easy. Why? Why did you allow him to enter this house without my consent? Do, do you even want to hear what I want to say? Okay, talk. I'm listening. Talk. Do you realize that Timothy loves you? Huh? That guy truly loves you. You just need to give him a chance. Mm. Come to think of it, he's not even interested in your body. Yeah? He just wants to be your friend and that's it. Huh? Mm. What did you just say now? Can anything change a leper's spot? No! Ah, why would you say he's not interested in her body? Why would you say that? You see all these men wandering around. Can never be friends with a lady without asking for sex. At first, they might pretend to be sense to get what they want. But once they get it, ha! Ah, Jackman! They move! I'm telling you! I'm not even See, you know the worst part? This Timothy of a guy does not have aid. He is so broke! And he cannot even take care of a woman for the entire life. Ah! Becky, ah. you're so comfortable with poverty. Please, do not impose it on me. I don't like poverty. Thank you. What is all this now? You're actually expecting me to date a broke guy? For real? Never. Ew. God forbid. Fine. Listen I... to me, Becky. I will not say this again. If you know what is good for you, mind your business. In fact, respect yourself and also respect my decision. Fine. I won't say this again. I promise it won't happen again. I'm sorry. I won't say this again. Ah, and um, Choma, what is it with you and his poor? I don't like smelling poverty. Oh, really? Yes. And see who is talking. What exactly do you do, Choma? Remind me again. I have a job. What kind of job do you? I do? live for a living. Oh, you live for a living. Of course. Anyhow, yes, yes, I love it. This is the best you have given to me so far. You can feel me, yeah? Make sure you give me this symbol next time, okay? Yeah, I'll see you soon. 
You deserve an award. I want a princess. Mm -hmm. That's what I want for us. So now we want something. We want the same <laughs> You know, we need a girl to spoil. About your money. Oh, you, oh, you know about my money. Where is my money? My husband, I just said I don't know anything about your money. And why on earth will you open your mouth? Ah! Why would you open your cursed mouth to repeat after me? Are you out of your mind, Abigail? Have you lost it? Where is my money, you thief? I don't understand you, Prince Dozier. Why would you hit a pregnant woman like that? Allah, stay out of this. She's your wife! Stay out of this, Allah! This cheap thief and prostitute here has been stealing from me for the longest. And I've had just about enough of it. Today I'm going to put an end to it. And don't ever call this desperado my wife again. For I am very convinced that that thing she's carrying in her stomach does not belong to me. It's not my husband! I will take anything from you. But what I will not have is you call me a prostitute or will accuse me of infidelity. Don't you ever do it. I see that you have grown a spine. And I am going to break it the next time you raise your voice at me. I am going to make you regret ever stepping your feet in this palace pretending and masquerading to be my wife because you are not my wife. You are my father's wife. I just want my money. I don't want anything from you. I just want my money. You got it? I just said I don't know anything about your money. I have no business with your money. I don't know where you get your money. Okay. That's enough, Abigail. Brother, this, it, 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 it has not gotten to this now. Eh? Abigail, if you know where the money is, kindly give it to him so all of this will just end. Why is all this? You seriously believe I know something about his money? I know nothing about it. I don't know where he gets his money. Became his wife. He has never told me that he has money. He has never agreed he has money. What is the meaning of this? Why must he accuse me about his stolen money? What is this? Chukudozie. I think you should go out there and ask your secret lover about your missing money. Abigail, what did I hear you say? Secret lover? Yes, you heard me very loud and clear. He knows what I am talking about. Abigail, you know I love you so much. I care for you as my daughter-in-law. 
You know also that as your father-in-law, I will make sure that you are protected and taken care of. Please, I am begging you in the name of Ahmadi Oha. If you are in the possession of that money, give it to him. I'll make sure that um, I give you more than the same amount. Your Majesty, you know me. You know what I can do. I have been married to the prince for eight months. I have never stolen from him before. Why then will I start it now? Dad, 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 dad please. I, I don't understand why we are here wasting time and having this conversation with this prostitute here. Do see it. Shut up. I'm talking. Let her give me my money. It's as simple as that. All right? Else I am going to make her life miserable in this palace, Dad. I will do it. What is wrong with you, Dossie? What has come over you? How dare you speak to your wife like that in the presence of her father, the king of this great kingdom? Why are you going overboard with this whole issue? Don't, don't, don't talk to me about speaking in our father's presence. Don't talk to me about him being here while I pour my heart out. For he is the reason I am in this mess in the first place. Father, you have destroyed my life. Chukudose, what is the meaning of that which you have said? Why will you assert that I, King Akuma, your own father, has destroyed your life? You destroyed my life when you rejected Neka. The one that I love with all of my heart. And then you forced me to marry this prostitute here. Have you gone bananas? I'm asking you. When did you smooth your feathers that you now talk to me in such a careless manner? Or has the way you were raised totally erased from your memory? Why are you so selfish? Is the same girl and her father have the reason you are having breath of fresh air in this kingdom as a crown prince? Have you forgotten? It was her father who fought and went all out that I become a king. I know from your seeking head that history is written on the surface of waters. But I do not forget things like that. My procession to this family is golden. And for all the reasons that you have stated, Father, you sacrificed the happiness of your only son. You traded my joy my love and happiness. One more love from you and you'll be responsible for what will happen to you right now. I do not want to hear anything further about that money again in this palace. I will send you the same amount. But you must apologize to your wife for giving her a vec if that is final. Nonsense. What an insolence. What callousness. Abigail. I'm going to kill you. To see you. You are not speaking. Words. Yes. Why is life full of cruelty? What happened? The future queen of this land. Mm -hmm. She's a lady with a pure heart. Yet, her life is filled with misfortunes and pains. <laughs> she didn't steal that money. I agree with you. But the question is, my question is, who stole that money? And why is she so, so mean to her? Princess Oledo stole the money. Yes. I saw her. So you I saw me do what? You filthy thing. My princess. What did you see me do? Shift. I said shift! <laughs> what did you see me do? Because you saw me coming out of my brother's room. 
you already assumed that I am a thief. And you are discussing me with your fellow filthy disgusting maid. How dare you? How dare you call me a thief in my father's home? My princess, please, I'm, I'm sorry, I'm sorry. I, I, I'm a fool who doesn't know how to save. My princess, please spare me. So I should forgive you because you say you're sorry. Do you know, it would have been better if you reported me to my father instead of gossiping me to, to, to your fellow maid. What gave you that audacity? You are sorry and I should forgive you because you say you are sorry. I'm sorry, my princess. My princess, please spare me. I'm, I'm sorry. I will report it to my father myself. I will. And he will not only banish you from this palace, but from the entire kingdom as well. My princess, please. I have a sick mother. She will die if you do this to me, please. You have a sick mother. And you said she will die? You have a sick mother. <laughs> so I should forgive you for telling your fellow mate that I'm a thief because you have a sick mother. You did not remember your sick mother when you were gossiping with my name. It's okay. I will forgive you. As a generous princess, of course I will forgive you. Thank me. But don't forget, for every sin or action, there is a consequence. Hey. Hey. Babe, what's up now? How is Kelvin? I mean, we've not heard from him for a very long time. And I have not heard you speaking to him on phone as usual. I hope all is well. All is well. He went on a business trip. Oh, hmm. business trip. What sort of business trip did he go for? Choma, your blood is always hot. He has this project he's doing outside the state. Mm. Mm, a huge one. Nice. But that is not enough reason for him to stop calling you. I mean, you guys talk all the time on phone. What is happening? I haven't even heard you talk to him on phone as usual. Like, you know what I'm talking about now. Girls, if not that I know the two of you, I'll think you're pognosing too much these days. I said it's fine. Everything is okay. There is no cause for alarm. I know you're looking out for your girl, but trust me, there's nothing to worry about. Mm -mm. I don't think everything is fine. Yeah. There is something to worry about, girlfriend. Please, can we talk about something else and leave my relationship, please? Have you guys forgotten we're supposed to go somewhere? Or don't you want to get your cream again? Oh, girl, I'm tired. I not know that I'm ready for it. Please, anymore. let's go. You still haven't answered me. Something is wrong somewhere. Worry less. It's fine. Go back. Come back. Come back. Sorry, who are you guys? Will you shut that dirty thing you call a mouth? You shameless prostitute! What did Jesus call me? Exactly what you heard. Shameless prostitute that go about snatching people's husband. Look, young lady. I am not here to banter words with you because I do not have time for that. I just want to warn you. Leave my husband alone for me. Leave my husband alone for me. Sorry, sorry. Who is your husband? Will you cut that pretense, you shameless prostitute? Okay, wait. Since you want to really know who her husband is, I will now introduce him. Her husband's name is Prince Chukwu Dozie. And he is married to this pretty woman. And I want you 
to stay away from him. Leave him alone, husband smasher. I decided to pay you a peaceful visit today. But the next time you will encounter me, my dear, you will not like me. Stop destroying my marriage. Stay away from my husband. Leave him alone. My next visit will not be this peaceful. Did you get that? Stay away from my husband. You heard her, right? Heard what she said. I got my eyes on you. The next time, you won't be lucky this way. You see, I get it. Oh I'm God. sorry, sorry. Me, I'm lost. Oh my God, I'm so sorry. I'm so sorry, man. So sorry. Idiots. Just, Jesus Christ, Jesus Christ. Uh, ma, ma, I'm so I sorry. I don't want to kill me. It was a mistake, man. It, uh, it wasn't intentional. I didn't, I didn't even see you. I was actually calling my friend, and then I, 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 this happened. It's a, it's a mistake. Are you, are you, are you okay? Ah, it's a mistake. Okay? She said. Are you mad? You are she killed me and my baby. You tell me it's a mistake. Are you not? Why would you slap her? Oh, you guys want to beat me, right? You get to beat me. Why did you slap me? Who are you? Are you mad? Oh, you're telling me it's a mistake. You should kill me or my baby. Are you carrying this stuff? You don't know who I am. Don't worry. I'm not with you. Are you mad? Are you afraid? You want to beat me? You want me to slap you? Probably slap. Are you okay? Stop it. 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 Um, I'm actually living in the immigration office. I, just, I, want, I want to go see somebody to discuss something with them. Is, is everything okay? R really? We're like, where, where, where are you guys? Where? At this plaza. Okay. I'll be coming there right now. On my way. Okay? Just calm down. Let's 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 try and settle this amicably. Yeah. Can you guys stop? Why are you begging her? I don't understand. Can you guys stop? Let's her call whoever she Can wants to call. Ah, slap her. You're still begging her. I, I don't understand. Madam, please let's sort this anything. out between us. Don't tell me. I don't let's want to hear anything from you. You don't. Need I don't want. You want to give me a B? You don't need no, no, no. to call no, no. anybody. Can we just settle this out? Who wants to beat you? Did you realize you just slapped me? Did you realize you just slapped me? Hey, want to beat me? Did you realize you just slapped me? And I'm here begging you to calm down. What's your problem? Don't worry, my husband is coming. Where did I enjoy? Don't worry. Don't beg me, oh. What are you expecting? I don't understand. Don't you think you're doing? Call your Jesus Christ. Let us wait for who she's calling. Call your husband. Let us wait for who she's calling. Call your husband. Let us wait for who she's calling. Call your husband. Let us wait for who Call your husband. Call him. I you want to beat me? Why are you beating me? You want to beat me, Abby? I am beginning to beat you. Don't worry. I'm waiting for, I'm waiting for my husband. <laughs> hey. Don't scare my baby, right? Baby. It's okay, please. Okay. please. please. Don't need to get Come and beat me. Shall you stop? Baby, stop. Where is my husband? Oh, you deserve to get pregnant. My husband is here. Your husband. We are waiting for your husband. Baby, come. We are waiting for your husband. Okay, come. Come, come. Let's talk. You're only pregnant. What's going to buy me? Okay, now. Baby, baby, baby. <laughs> 
Yeah. That's okay, don't worry. What's up, what's up? This is the paper, they're beating me up. The three of them. What's up with this? Shall I hide the baby? What's up with this? What's up with this? Shall I hide the baby? Is this your husband? Yes. Is this your husband? Yes, it's my husband. Wait. Is your husband? Yes. Hey! 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 You, you are the husband. Baby, why are you still in this mood? I thought I told you to forget about everything that happened and move on. What did I just hear you say? What did I hear you say? What kind of a human are you? I, I told you to lay low. Lay the fuck low! But what did you do? No! Your gender is so silly that they don't listen. You, you went ahead and started living flamboyantly, spending extravagantly to the extent that you constituted nuisance with the same woman who scammed. The same woman who I scammed and took her money. I just hope you don't mess things up. I just hope! Play hey, hell! How on earth am I supposed to know she's the woman you scammed? Why you refuse to show me her picture? <laughs> Are, are, you, are you listening to yourself right now? Baby, if... Must I show you her picture? Must I show you her picture before you, you hear and listen to my words? You, 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 you're not supposed to do any of this. You're supposed to listen to me. And, and now, look at... She's going around looking looking for us with police. I just hope, I just just hope she's, she's not even catching up with us. Baby, I'm sorry now. Oh, please. I'm sorry for what's happened. Oh, do you want to kill me before you know I'm sorry? Listen, listen, listen. When we get to the house, you have 15 minutes. 15 minutes to pack everything that belongs to you in the house. We need to leave to a better, secure place for us. Gosh. No, no, no. But that's the thing with you, 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 this gender of yours. You guys don't listen. Damn. No, 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 don't talk. Just, just when we get home, make sure you do what I told you. 15 minutes. Babe, 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 stop, 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 stop. No, give stop. me, give, give me, give, give, give it, give it to me. What is your problem? You cannot continue killing yourself with drink. Why that gold guy is out there enjoying his life? What is wrong with you, babe? Listen, I understand that you're broken. I know, I know how you feel. I understand everything, but come on. There's no what this. Please. I know that you're broken. But the broken needs to leave. In order to amend that which is broken in his or her life. Sis, you need to leave. You cannot kill yourself because of a man. A gold digger for that matter. A useless man. He does not deserve you. He's not worth it. Please, calm down. It's okay. I, I believe that love will find a way to you someday again. Okay? Yes. But it's strange how the people we love always break our hearts. So trust me, you will heal. It's just time. Okay? I don't know. I don't know why love does not last. <sighs> Sis, please, you need to calm down. Some men are not meant to be in our lives. You need to move on. You got this. You can do this. Please, do not pause your life because of a man. I beg you in God's name. We are here for you. Always. My love, it's okay. See, whenever our heart is broken, it opens up a new door filled with opportunities and new beginnings. Exactly. You are a strong woman. 
And I promise you, you can pull through this. Yes. You will feel better. It's just a matter of time. And this whole shit will fade away. Trust me. Please, don't you, do this to yourself, okay? You need to calm down, okay? I believe that love will find a way to you someday again. Okay? You will still meet a man that will cherish you. Yes. That will love you. That will not toy with your heart. Okay? Take it easy, please. Do not harm yourself because of a man. Because of a madman. A madman. A madman for that matter. A gold digger. You are too beautiful, please. You will be fine, okay? You are stronger than this. Please. Men, men will always be men. God forbid. Let her be, let her just cry it out. She'll be fine. Men. This life has never been fair to me. Oh, this life has never been good to me. Oh, yeah, yeah, this life. Has never treat me well. All I see is I gone in the night. I gone in the day. Falling in love with someone comes with feelings of joy and happiness. It leads to an adventure that one would never want to return from. But parting ways, on the other hand, is characterized by anger, pain, sadness, and frustration. Why must someone who loves with utmost sincerity experience the latter? Kelvin, why must you pay back my kindness with evil? going to do? When did I exhaust all my stuffs? Oh my god, I'm going crazy. This cannot be happening. This just cannot be. I have to do something as soon as immediately. The meeting was tough. You can't imagine that the governor told us that all the land 
in the state has been encumbered. <laughs> I told him that I want the land to be unencumbered. That is our demand from the traditional rulers. Of course, he has to. He told us that he will go through the surveyor general of the state to still see if there is a, a place they can carve out for us. Of course. Ah, uh, they don't have choice. <laughs> There you go, Carla. <laughs> How is your beautiful wife doing? Oh, I see. Oh, my son. He's, he's there. Yeah, with his wife, yes. Okay. Oh, we'll talk again. Thank you very much. Oh, bye. <sighs> Father. Oh, my beautiful princess. Greetings, Father. How are you today? Beautiful, as you can see. I see. What is it? Father. Yes. I would love to ask you a favor of you. Oh, you can always ask from the father. Please sit down. Thank you. What is it? Um, father, I have something that is very important and urgent as well. So I'll be needing a hundred thousand to handle it. Father, please don't say no. But I have to say no. Since you returned, you've been making withdrawals, and I've been planning to ask what you do with all the money you've been withdrawing. Come on, Father. You forgot I am a grown woman with needs. Most of the things I do are personal. Well, um, there is no disputing to the fact that a woman needs money. But as your father, the, the one who is providing the money that you lavish, I, I need a total blank sheet. Lavish? Father, is that how you see me now? You see your beautiful daughter as a woman that spends lavishly. Father, that's not fair. It's not only what I see, it's what I've been experiencing. Because asking for more money simply means that the three million naira that I credited your account with upon your return has finished. Talking about that money, believe me when I say that I invested it in a certain trade that I learned while in the UK. Yeah, and okay, on my return, I will give you a detailed analysis on how I spent it, or rather, how I invested the money. Well, uh, I'll give you the money, but the rest assured that uh, I need a detailed account of all the money expenditure. Or oh, never ask for more demand. Father, I promise I will give you. Just give, give, give to me this very, this very stuff. Take is... it. Take it. Thank you, Father. Izu Chuku. Father, thank you. God bless you. Izu. Becky, what is it? Why, why are you looking like this? You know what? It's okay. Okay, whatever it is, we can talk about it later. Okay, just go into the car, please. Please. Him, but I didn't listen. I didn't listen because I love him. I loved him with everything in me. Ah, oh, God. K. 
Kelvin, I loved you so much. And how did he pay me back? How did he reward me for so much love like that? A love so pure and genuine. He did this to me. He scammed me. Kelvin did not just scam me. He got another woman pregnant. What? Seeing him that refused to get me pregnant, saying he was waiting for us to get married before, before we start having children. This is, this is so unfair. This is bad. Uh, Becky, it's, it's okay. Uh, it's, it's okay, please. Look, he's nothing but a shameless idiot. He, he would never see anything good in his life. Please, look, Becky, you are bigger and better than whatever he, think he stole from your life. Okay, because your life is filled with so much, I mean, endless possibilities. So, please, I want you to know that you're a strong woman. Okay, you're a very strong woman. I mean, you, come on, don't let him ruin your life, okay? This is not the end of the whole world. You have better things ahead of you. Okay, please. No, Timothy, you don't understand. You don't understand. Becky, I do. I understand. I have been there. No, no, no. You've not been here. You've not been in this, this particular state I am right now. Timothy, my heart is shattered. I gave him my heart and he pieces it. He broke it into pieces. He used me. All I ever did wrong was loving this man, was loving him with everything in me, and he used me. It's okay. Please. Becky. It's okay. Timothy, it's not okay. It's not okay at all. I have nothing left. I have nothing left. I just I just feel like killing myself. I just feel like ending it no. all. Come, come, come on, Becky. No, don't say that. You can kill yourself, Becky. This is not the end of the life. I mean, this is not the end of life for you. Please, you have so much ahead of you, okay? Look, whatever he stole from you, whatever he thinks he stole, you are going to replenish. You are going to recover them all, please. You don't have to think about suicide. I mean, that's not the option. It is not an option and will never be an option. Suicide is for cowards. Becky. To you, I know, you have never ever been a coward. You have always been a strong woman. <laughs> Please, come on. I mean, thank God you weren't even driving in that state. Only God knows what would have happened. Driving? Yes. I... I actually came out with my car. You, you what? I... I, I, I remember I drove out of the house with my car. You, you, you drove out of the house? So, where did you park? <sighs> Miss Sandra. The prince will see you in the next 10 minutes. Oh, thank you very much.
come. That's my presence. Where is that person sitting there? She's a visitor. She is waiting for the prince. You can go. Yes, Mr. Steven. No, like I told you, there is nothing I can do now. My hands are tied. I can't, I'm sorry. I need, yes, I need my, I need my boss consent first. So I will ask him, then I will get back to you. Okay, sir. Yes, I'm at the palace. I came to see the prince. All right, thank you very much. for you because I will to be acid that I will pour on you and I will watch you die in pain. Do not say I did not warn you. Stop it. Becky, I am sorry about everything you told me, and then, I'm sorry. But then I needed to promise me something. I needed to promise me that you never cry again. Okay, not for him, not for anyone else. I mean, no one deserves your tears. No one is worthy of it. Okay? No. I need you to prove to him that you're a strong woman. I need you to prove to him that he is the loser. I mean, he's the big idiot for leaving you for another woman. You need to prove to him that you're raw gold. You're raw gold that needs his betrayal. I mean, his fire of betrayal to shine brighter. Okay? Prove to him that you're unstoppable. I mean, no matter the pain, no matter the hurts he inflicts on you, you are going to be more successful. Okay. Promise me. Hmm? I promise. Oh. I promise I will never cry again. I promise I will be strong. Now you've made my day. <laughs> Let me see the smile again. Mm -hmm. <laughs> okay. So, we're here now so you can go and pick up your car. T. 
Timothy. Mm -hmm. Thank you. For <laughs> it's fine, okay, you're welcome. Okay. Did I save? Okay. I will. Right. Thanks. So both of you will have to excuse me now. Yes, my presence. Yes, my presence. But shut up. Get out. On no account should you come looking for me. I will call you when I need you. Okay, my presence. Get out. What's the matter with you? How could you do a thing like that? I'm sorry, Your Majesty. I thought she's his mistress. Shazoy is his new secretary! You ain't doing what you're thinking in your head! How would I have known? My husband doesn't tell me anything concerning his personal life. I know he relieved Kate's his secretary of her duty. But I never knew he has gotten a, a new person, Your Majesty. When I heard there's a young lady he now moves around with, I got jealous and angry. You went too far. How could you consent so low? I'm so disappointed in you. I'm sorry, Your Majesty. It will never happen again. Never you go that far again, no matter what happens. Yes, Your Majesty. Hello, Luchi. Luchi, I, I don't like what you're doing, you know. I don't like this. I don't like it at all. I mean, why, why, are, you, why are you making me repeat myself now? This is not what you said when you came to ask for that money. This is not what you said. Look, quietly, peacefully return my money. You hear me? Just peacefully return my money. Give me back my money. You don't like what will happen if I come there to request for this money. You, you won't like it too. Please give me my money, I beg. I want to make use of it. Is it uh, Aluchi, the money girl, that you're threatening on the phone like that? I'm not threatening her. I'm requesting for my money. Yes, she's the one. I mean, this was not what she told me when she came, came to ask me for this money. She said she was going to give me the money the following day. This is two weeks. I mean, two weeks already, and she's not even saying anything about the money. Now I want to make use of it. Valentine's Day is just next tomorrow. Next tomorrow. I, I wanted to use the money to buy, buy one beautiful gift for my Maria. Timothy, hmm? are you alright? Me? Like, are you normal? Me? Like, 
Are you all right? How can you be planning on buying a vile gift for a girl you know will never, for any reason, accept the gift from you? What is wrong with you? Why can't you leave this girl called Maria alone? Every time Maria, 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 Maria. Eme, eme. Sorry, the last time I checked, the money I want to use for the gift is my money. Not yours. Really? The gift I want to buy, you are not the one selling it. I have not come to you to loan me money or anything else. So why, why are you bothered? Why are you concerned about what she would do to me because of the gift? It's okay, it's okay. Enough! Enough! It's okay. I don't blame you. I blame myself for trying to talk to you about this whole nonsense in the first place. Yes, I blame myself for advising you. Go ahead. Sell all you have. In fact, close your account. Go and buy the whole world for her. That's your business. I don't care. Nonsense. My one model will not go easy. Someone is advising you and you're just talking nonsense. You don't want to listen. Go ahead and do whatever you want to do. Sammy. Sammy. I found my fee just recharge me 500. Eh? If, if I curse you, <laughs> my generation curse, if I curse you, no try her. No just try her. Come over there. Rubbish. Give me 500. Mm. You, you, you won't go buy it for a person. You don't get ETA for food. The ETA don't finish now. Mugu. I don't you don't finish ETA. Mugu. You never start. I think Prisa is taking too much time. <laughs> Have you forgotten that she said you should not disturb her? I know, but it's almost two hours now. Who knows if she's still alive or not? <laughs> I'm going to check on her. I'm warning you now. Don't go anywhere before you lose your job. You're talking about the reason of the job? If anything should happen to Prisa, the king will hold us responsible. Okay. I'm That's going to check on her. That is your own cup of tea. I had a go to check on her. Are you satisfied now? I'm not. But from the look of things, she's still sleeping. I'm not sure if she's still alive or not. Let's wait for her here. Anytime she's not sleeping, we take her home. I had you. But. Okay. Let's just wait. What is it again, Timothy? What is it? Nothing. I just that I. I saw Becky's car, so I... You... Ho asked. Hold on. Are you stalking me? Timothy, are you really stalking me? No, no, come on. I mean, Maya, why would I stalk you? Why would I do such a thing? Good. Because if you try to stalk me, I will get you arrested. Don't even try that. Come, come on, Maria. I mean, what, what wrong have I done? I mean, why are you being so harsh on me? Is it, is it wrong for someone to love? It is wrong for someone like you to fall in love with me. I mean, take a look at me very well. Take a look. Guy, you know they feel. You know they fear face at all. Can you maintain this? Can you maintain this? Can you maintain this? Obviously no, because you are broke. You are broke. You are so poor. You... Hold on. Let's say I accept to be your girlfriend. And one morning, I wake up and decide to go for vacation in Dubai or Maldives. Can you afford that? No! Because you don't have money, you are so broke. And you want to date a babe like me. You know the fear face, oh? You know the fear See, don't even try that nonsense to me again. Don't even try it again. Better warn this guy, yo. Warn him to stay away from me. What is all this nonsense now?
not following me around. I'm not interested for crying out loud. Stop it. Ah! Person will never even chop three, three square meal. Complete three square meal. You never even chop belly food. You won't date a babe like me. You know the fear face. You know the fear face at all. Listen and listen good. Stop disturbing my life. I will not want you again. The next time you will come close to me. Ha, ha, ha. I see you want to end up in prison. Peggy, please take me out of here. Timothy, Timothy, if you will listen to me, I will advise you give her time. Just give her time. Thank you, but I love her. I mean, you know me. I mean, you know I love her. Well, what wrong have I done? Look, yes, I, I might be poor today, okay? But come on, I, I will certainly not be poor forever. Exactly. I know. But you cannot be telling someone the same thing over and over again all the time. You tell her, then you give her space to think about it, process the whole thing, and then make up her mind on what she wants to do. Because you're beginning to look like a nuisance. Can we just go, please? I'm coming, please. I'm Let's sorry, go. no offense, but this is my candid advice. Give her time, okay? You mean to say that she's not his girlfriend? Like she's his secretary? My dear, that lady is his new secretary. I regretted my actions. Like I felt so stupid at the end of the whole thing. This is strange. I... Really strange. Jane, if not that the king was on ground, by now, your friend would have been a dead person. <gasps> Thank God he was here to save the situation. Oh my word. So, if she's not his mistress like we thought, so what's making him treat you the way he's doing? I, I just, I, because I'm confused here. I don't know. If you ask me, I seriously do not know. I have no idea. Like, I can't even think of anything right now. I am just confused. I strongly believe that there is someone out there that he is saying that's making him treat you the way he's treating you. Yes. <laughs> You have a point. But what if he's not seeing anyone? What if he just doesn't want me like he makes it appear? Ah. Abigail. You, you have to consider what I told you. Seriously. What? You need a divorce. <gasps> I'm telling you the truth. Yeah. That's what you need. I'm telling you. I would like to you. I'm your friend. I know you want to say something. So start talking. Start talking and stop looking at me like that. Those are your evil eyes. Don't you think Timothy might be the right person for you? Babes, I know he doesn't have money now, but who says he's going to remain poor forever? 
give the dude a, a chance. Are you kidding me right now? Becky, are you, are, you, are you being serious right now? Becky, don't tell me. You want to cajole me into living the kind of life you, 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 you once lived? Excuse you? No, of course you're quite excused. You want to cajole me into making the same mistake you made? What is wrong with you, Becky? Becky, you, of all people, picked up one useless guy. One dirty, stinking idiot. From the quarters, you picked him up, rushed him, made him who he is, gave him life, and then he, in return, dumped you for one useless girl. Hmm? Yes! And now you're telling me to go and make the same mistake you made. I will not. I won't try it. What are you even saying? You know, sometimes I, 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 ask, I ask myself, like, what made Timothy think that he can date a big girl like me? Like, the guy know the fear face. So. The guy know the fear face at all. What made him think that he can, he can date me? What does he have to offer? Nothing. Absolutely nothing. And you're telling me I should give him a chance. Babes, please, oh, I beg. Good girl, not a pay. Oh. Hope you know that. Hope you know that. You see, in this life, I can never settle for less. I will not. I will not settle for less. Pick up, huh? It's okay, it's Pick okay. Things only. It's okay, please. It's okay. Tell me I should, I should give him a chance. Hey, what's up? What are you watching? <laughs> you both left this house in high spirit. Only for you to come back here looking like sworn enemies. And don't you dare tell me that nothing happened. Because I am very sure that something happened. You're correct. Something happened. You remember that, that broke guy that has been following me around? What's that his name again? Timothy. That broke dude that does not have shame, man. You want to date me and you don't have money. And you want to date me. Can you, can, can you imagine? You don't know the guy I'm talking about. That broke guy now, Timothy, <laughs> that has been preaching love to me, but he does not have what it takes to take care of me. <laughs> but all this juice you're giving to me does not explain the serious tension between you and Becky. What happened? Becky has been sweet talking me to accept the guy. Can you imagine? Me. Me, Maria, should date a broke guy. God forbid I reject it. Becky wants me to make the same mistake she made. But it will not happen. I will not even allow that. Can you imagine? A wise man learns from his mistake. But a wiser man learns from another man's mistake. I will never make the same mistake Becky made. God forbid I reject it. Hi. I will not. Why did I even ask what happened? Eh? I thought it was even something serious. My sister, that was what happened. And I told her the truth. Maybe that's why her face is like that. Who cares? Let her be. Let her soak. See, my dear, this is your life. And you have to decide for whatsoever you want to do with it without anyone interfering. And I think you should enlighten her more on that. Because I don't get it. I don't understand. <laughs> Why would she be advising me to date a broke guy? But wait, come to think of it. <gasps> this Timothy of a guy has been on your neck for the past three months. He has been asking you out. Three months. Babe, it's more than three months already. I don't know what that guy, I don't know, I don't know what that guy wants. Like, he has refused to back down. Despite well, all my warnings, I don't know what to do again. <laughs> well, I think you need to change your approach on how to deal with this guy. How, how, how do you mean? <laughs> oh.
Timothy. Timothy, what is wrong with you? You only drink and smoke when there is a serious problem. What is wrong with you? Listen, don't even bother to tell me that there is no problem. Because I do. I am very much convinced that there is a serious problem at hand. Ever since you came back, you've been very moody. What is going on? Let me guess. You went to see your so-called Maria and she turned you down as usual, right? Huh? Let me ask you this some more. Shoot. Samuel, let me ask you this. Have you ever fallen helplessly in love with a girl right from the very moment you set your eyes on her? I only had an experience that is very close to that when I was in secondary school. Tell me, Timothy, have you fallen in love with another lady that is not Maria? Like, are you now in love with any other woman outside the almighty Maria? Sammy, <clears throat> hey. yes, you're correct. Okay, I mean, Maria might be everything you tag her to be. But the fact is, I still love her. Hmm? I mean, I love this girl. I, I can't reason straight. I can't imagine my world without her. I, I don't understand why she cannot see beyond my present financial condition and, and just focus on the so much love I mean so much love my heart holds for Timothy I want to tell you something what I'm about to say to you right now might not be what you want to hear yes but I will still go on to say what I want to say. The bitter truth is, you and Maria are two different sides of a coin. You guys are not compatible. You were not. <sighs> Somehow, you don't see things the way I see them. You see things differently. Look. Meaning let me tell you, being the two face of a coin makes us more compatible. So, I mean, look, let me explain something to you. Positive and positive will never, I mean, will never and cannot produce current. It takes a negative and a positive to produce a current. Two face of a coin, positive and negative, and that's it. <laughs> I see Timothy it is very clear to me right now that we are no longer talking about love matters this is not just you being in love with Maria madness is the real thing on ground <laughs> you have gone crazy <laughs> crazy love really? I mean come on You've never fallen in love, so you won't understand. Oh, you won't. You know, they say, um, nothing good comes easy. Mm. So, I am ready to wait. I am ready to fight. After all, I mean, our world is built that way. So, I'll wait and I'll fight. I, I think you have a point. You do. Let me ask you, my guy. Will you still buy her the vile gift you 
want to buy for her tomorrow? <laughs> I, I, you know, I, I think if you do so, it might make her change her mind and accept your proposal. Don't you think so? Sammy, you know, um, for over eight to ten years that I've known you, I mean, eight, nine, ten years that I've known you, this is the only time you have said something meaningful. Really? <laughs> Trust me, I, I will certainly buy her the vow gift. Thank you. Thank you for reminding me. <laughs> Timothy, you are the biggest fool I've ever seen. Is life filled with evil minded people? Kelvin, what did I ever do wrong to you that so made you do what you did to me? Kelvin, I loved you with all my heart, even when you had nothing. I was very much willing to go extra miles to ensure that you made it big in life. I was ready to sacrifice everything for you. Now you reward me. You reward my love and good deeds to you with hatred, heartbreak and sorrow. Kelvin, why? Now my boss is on my neck to return his money. How do I pay back this money? How do I pay it back? Every man in life prays for their children to become greater and better than them in all aspects of life. But mine is totally different. Why does my own father not want me to be greater and better than him? How can a man that enjoyed the level of peace that my father enjoyed in his marriage with my late mother not want me to do same. Why will my father push me into the hell that I find myself right now all in the name of marriage? Is King Akuma truly my biological father? Hey. Hello. I see that you are lost. In your own world. Lost in a world of misery. Life is hard. It's almost impossible to go through life without pain, hurt, and disappointment. But then it hurts the most. When we get hurt by the people 
was supposed to love, care and protect us, you know, it's, it's crazy. I know that you're hurt. But I have the ears to listen. Let me share during your moment of despair. You can talk to me. I want to hear your story. Hmm? Get lost. Hmm. Not nice. That's not a very good way to start now. All right. So we just try again. Okay. My name is Chuku Dozier. But you can call me Dozier. I said, get lost. Are you daft for something? Or are you just plain stupid? That you don't know what I mean by get lost. You take yourself out of this place. This is not good. I see that you're deeply taken by your misery. So I'll let you be. Mm -hmm. 